What's up everyone, it's Ghost here. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you on some tips on how to improve on your own gameplay and how to get on longer kill streaks. Now these tips are just some of the many tips and tricks that I have, so if you want to see more videos like these or so on, then leave a comment below on any questions you may have, like the video, so I know you do enjoy these, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss the next video once it's out. Now then, back to today's video. Now, my way of showing you all on how to get better is by talking about the four P's. Pacing, position, predator, and practice. We'll start off in order, but there will be timestamps in case you're looking for something specific. Although, I will recommend for you to stay for the whole video as each topic connects with the next one and back and forth. But yeah, let's get right on with it. So, we're starting off with pacing. Sometimes, you just gotta slow down. You know, play a bit more passive and aggressive always. Especially when you're trying to get on some high kill streak. You got all the time in the world. Now there's another part to it than just playing slow. You gotta know when to disengage. Now for those that don't know what the word means, it means GTFO. And if you don't know what that acronym means, it means you gotta go, you gotta leave. Don't stay there for too long. Now you don't have to ego challenge everyone by the way. Seriously, like you don't, you're not scum, crim6, simp, and most of the time when you do after a gunfight, chances are you only got a 50-50 on winning it, especially when you're hurt. Now that's a bad habit that needs to be changed if you happen to be like that, or you gotta get rid of it completely. It's tough, but it helps you in the long run. Now I'm trying to make you win 75, 25, or 100 0 of your gunfights. Now another thing you can do is let your teammates help you. Now I know, I know. Not all of your teammates are great, you got little Timmy staring at the wall and Jimmy shooting at a gunship with an SMG out there in the open. But they, they don't gotta be great, I'ma be honest, I let my teammates go ahead of me to see if the coast is clear, in the building, around the corner, or to see where they die from. I'm using them as information basically. Your job is just to be focusing on players who aren't paying attention to you at all, or anyone that your teammates happen to injure. It's the easiest way to get kills honestly. Shooting players from behind, making your fights be 2v1 for the upper hand, uh, or even just sneaking up on them. You don't have to play so careless, basically. And I know it's a casual game, even though skill based matchmaking has been ruining it, damn it, Activision. But if you do want to get better at the game, think before you act, basically. Now, spawn trapping can be a great option too, but you do gotta be careful to not push too deep into their spawn, or you just might flip them, basically, causing the whole flow you had going there. To disappear and now you had you got to redo it all again to hold them now timing timing goes along with your patient being trigger happy can sometimes get you killed too early for example you could be waiting for an enemy to pass you and I know what you're thinking what a dumbass huh and then you shoot him now another second later you get shot from behind by another player who you didn't see now you look stupid don't you now imagine the outcome if you waited like a good kid so we got idiot number one and number two li <laughs> lined up for two free kills. Now you don't look like an idiot. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Now we're on to position. Now this one has to do with placement really. Placing yourself somewhere unexpected where the players aren't expecting you to be. Yes, I did say that. It's always a great way to catch people off guard. Gotta expect the unexpected man. Now I don't mean by camping. This isn't modern warfare. That's not gonna help you in the long run here. I'm talking about like in other ways, like being behind a corner. I said being behind the corner, by the way. I did not say hiding behind one. Then you got flanking and head glitching. Now, first off, we got flanking though. Flanking the enemies and getting behind them, obviously they're not gonna see that coming, especially if you have a suppressor or a counter UAB that's up. You could flank through the side that the least action is going on, like the pool side and raid. Most people clutter through like the middle or the circle drive of the map, so that means half the time you'll probably be able to slip by while anyone seeing you. Make sure you're using your minimap though since it can, it can show you which side most of your teammates are at. Chances are that's where most of the enemy players are at as well. It could also let you know which side your team is not watching. I'm sure everyone has died for a thousand times from that one player that just happens to slip by the rest of the teammates somehow. I seriously don't know how that happens every single time. So keep an eye on that on your on your minimap for that. Now head glitching. It's probably one of the best ways to be in position, honestly. Now if you don't know by now what head glitching is, that's where you get behind cover and use it as a power position. Only your head should be exposed. And most of your chest and below should be hidden behind some sort of cover. Now the enemy players are gonna have a much tougher time shooting at you because only your head is exposed to gunshots. Or in simpler words, it's in the name, head glitching, making you harder to hit. And if you see someone that's 
on a head glitch themselves, it's probably better if you don't try the ego challenge that fight, because 9 times out of 10, you're gonna lose that if you're running at them like a chicken without his head, and if they're prepped. Be smart and put yourself in a different position to catch them off guard. But yeah, on to the next one though. The Predator. Now I'm not talking about a Predator like Mini Lag Craig Thompson type of Predator, so don't be confused. I'm talking about the Alien Predator Hunter from movies like Predator 1 with Dutch, Alien vs Predators, or the 2018 Predator movie. Now sometimes you do gotta take out one enemy at a time, you're not Optimus Prime. Don't try to take them all at once and then die miserably again. Now I figured this idea of magic with the Predator was doing in the movie. It doesn't matter how good he was at hunting, he would still try to kill only one at a time. Well, in the first movie at least. Now the same goes for here. It doesn't matter how good of a player you are, chances are you're not always going to be able to get that double, triple, quadruple, or quintuple, or sextuple kill. Now the main reason for that though is because of how slow the time to kill is in this game. Now this also goes on par with your pacing. No need to rush, but it it will vary throughout the match. But it also, it's also depending on the game mode itself too, like in Hardpoint, oh man. <laughs> Her point is such a bloodbath because everyone is just trying to get to the objective. It's like the Boston Massacre up in there. It doesn't matter how many you shoot at them, they just keep coming. Now it's very hard to get on a streak when basically it's a trade-off per kill. Everyone's rushing to the next hard point. But now here's some ways you can actually get on a streak. Now again, back to position. We got flanking, a great way to get to the get them to uh, on a point and break their formation, just like the Battle of Mar Marathon. Stay in school, kids. Now, other ways are to kill them one at a time. It's slower but it's efficient as well. Now when rotating to the next point, it's easy to pick off on any stragglers who just stay behind. Seriously man, play the objective for crying out loud. Now let's switch positions. Domination. Oh yeah. A lot of people like this one and a lot of people want- Oh, wait, wrong one. My bad. Let's, give me a second. Ah, here we go. Now in Domination. Everyone wants to have the advantage of having two flags instead of one. Greedy bastards. Anyways, so it's similar to the hard point where they clutter up at the at the second flag they want. Probably B flag since it's by the center of the map on like almost every one of them. But let's say you're team death you're a team deathmatch player. Again, using your mini map will let you know which side has the least action going on, allowing you to pick off enemies from the side or those who are trying to flank, again, killing them one at a time, like a Predator, not the Chris Hansen type of Predator. Lastly, we got Practice, a pretty obvious one, but one that everyone's too lazy to do, honestly. Now this is for those that want to take it to the next level, putting the last three ideas to the test. Hop on the custom game with bots on any map, any game mode you like, and see what head glitches you can find, routes you can take to flank, or angles you can use to surprise your enemies at. Or to create muscle memory on like slide canceling, jump shoot, uh, jump shotting around the corner, pre-aiming corners, etc. You might even find something new. Now, reviewing your own gameplay is an amazing thing to do, but this is for more for those that wanted that have the time for it. To see what mistakes you did, what could be improved upon, and what bad habits you can stop doing. Basically like going to rehab and relapsing. Keeping this one is a bit short, but I hope it's clear and understandable. Oh, and looking at your own or someone else's gameplay is called vi uh, VOD reviewing for anyone interested in looking it up. I have it on screen so you know how to spell it. <laughs> so in conclusion, wait, why did I wrote this like some kind of essay? Ah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully these tips were useful to some if not all of you. But yeah, remember, just play at your own pacing. You don't always have to rush in. You can play slow and get a couple kills here and there. And while you can still be in the area where most of the players group up, just to be just be sure to not be in the middle of it. Now positioning yourself is key to staying alive longer, but don't stay in one location for too long or the enemy team will start to catch up with that. Seriously, everyone always goes back to wherever they, they were killed for revenge. You know who you are. <laughs> now be careful on your timing for everything. Practice these ideas and while everyone will get better at their own pace, I can definitely say you will eventually start to get the hang of it and see the progress by following the four P's. Yeah, I, I, I know, I should really come up with a better name or new acronym for them. But I mean it works. So yeah, I hope you all found my tips use, uh, helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or would like to see more. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.